Good afternoon, everyone. Friday, end of the week. And I hope you had truly a positive week in your business, as always, uh, whether you are working with me as my business partners in my network marketing organization with another network marketing company, you're an entrepreneur, self-employed, working wherever. I'm here to always bring value, share with you my journey with what I'm reading, with uh, what I'm immersing in my mind every day because life is a journey. I don't think anyone on this planet has got life figured out. And so with that said, I coined this, what is everything? The one word that is everything in our lives is confidence. Confidence is everything. It is said that confidence is the most attractive quality on this planet that we live on. But what is self-confident exactly? What is it? Think of it as loving yourself deeply, okay? Trusting your capabilities, knowing your self-worth, being proud of your uniqueness, your weirdness, your values, and your principles. That's what confidence is. Some people see self-confidence as arrogance, snobbery, or narcissism, but that is simply not true. Confidence and arrogance are two completely different things. Uh, in my mind and, and I just truly believe that there is nothing more important than working towards loving yourself and loving yourself first. That is paramount and it is truly essential to your well-being, your health and well-being to, to love yourself because there's only one of you and you're on this planet only once and to the accomplishments in your life. So with that said, if confidence is everything, here is Marco's top five uh, tips for being confident. Drum roll. Drrr. Number one, love yourself first. And we are all so self-critical when it comes to that. But you and I have got to love ourselves first. You are a gift from God. Hey, Darlene, I hope you're doing well and settled into your new place. Can't wait to chat with you soon. Love yourself first, Darlene and Marco and everyone else out there. You are a gift and nothing would be the same if you and I didn't exist. So confident number one tip is just love yourself, okay? You are so special. No one has the same uh, thumbprint as you. Um, you are so unique on this planet and that for in and of itself is a blessing. Number two, stop comparing and stay focused on you. Stop comparing, stay in your own lane and that confidence will, will come out of you. If you're always taking the blinders off and to see, you're always comparing your first chapter to the final chapter of someone else's life. You have no idea the trials and tribulations. You have not worn the shoes of anyone else, so just let it go. So number two, stop comparing yourself and stay focused on you, and that will give you more confidence. Put the blinders on, especially in our business. Put the blinders on every single day like we speak about. Number three is relax, and I've got to work on this, but I've just got to learn to go with the flow. Don't sweat the small stuff. I remember years ago, and with all my books I have here in my library, I used to go to Osoyos, a beautiful resort here in BC, and always bring along while I'm relaxing there, don't sweat the small stuff books. And I used to read chapter after chapter. Boy, are we sweating so much, you and I, on all the things that we just, there's no need to sweat the small things, okay? So relax and just go with the flow, okay? There's a purpose for all of us on this planet. Just let it be. That's the third point to being confident. Number four is be positive, okay? Have an attitude of gratitude, an attitude of gratitude. I wake up every morning, and I hope you do too, and just open up your journal. I started doing this for years now, and, and, and it is a game changer to say thank you, God, for those people in my life, health, wellness, and serenity. For myself, my beautiful wife, Sally, of which we are celebrating 25 years of marriage this Tuesday upcoming. I'm so blessed, I definitely married up. My two beautiful children, Monica and Matteo, my parents, my in-laws, my brother's family, uh, my brother-in-law, how blessed am I that those people are still alive, God willing, and everything's going well. Just, just that's the confidence to go out there and absolutely crush it. What do I have to complain about? 
okay? So have an attitude of gratitude and look for the positive in all things. Sometimes it's difficult, I understand, but there are people worse off than you and I, and you hear that all the time. But when you truly reflect, you see that. And number five, in terms of gaining confidence, do what you love. Life is too short to do anything otherwise. So for me, my calling is to make a difference in people's life. My passion, my health, my wellness, and I'm here with this amazing company I'm working aligned with to be able to make a difference in people's lives, not just to look and feel younger, but if they're open in this economy to look at another income stream, income stream to diversify themselves. So when we value who we are and what we bring to the table, others will begin to do the same. How can others see greatness in us if we can't see it in ourselves? So just remember, confidence isn't, will they like me? Will he think of me like that? What does she think of me? It's, I'll be fine if they don't. Okay, that's self-worth. So hope you got some value from that. Have an amazing weekend ahead. I'm off on a cruise next week to celebrate my beautiful 25 years of marriage to my beautiful wife. So I may not be able to get on these lives and I'm gonna miss all of you because I love my Facebook group and, and everyone that follows me. I'm grateful, I love sharing my journey. Have a happy Friday and we'll chat with you, God willing, next week or the week after. Talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.